What's up YouTube, welcome back. I have another medium lead code SQL problem for you. This was part of SQL 50, let's get into it. So this was called investments in 2016. It's numbered 585, 585, and it's part of SQL 50's subqueries section. We only have one table to work with called insurance, working with financial data here. We have a PID, which is the primary key, TIV 2015 and TIV 2016. TIV stands for the total investment value in these years. And lat and long refers to latitude and longitude of the policy holder's city, so location data. Our task is to write a solution to report the sum of all total investment values in 2016 using TIV 2016 for all policyholders who have the same TIV 2015 value as one or more other policyholders and are not located in the same city as any other policyholder, latitude, longitude based. Yeah, these pairs must be unique. We should round TIV 2016 to two decimal places and here's what the solution would look like. So to summarize, we want the sum of all total investment values in 2016, the sum of TIV 2016 for all policyholders, one row is a policyholder that fulfills these conditions. So their TIV 2015 value should not be unique. They should have the same value as one or more other policyholders. And they should also not be in the same city as another policyholder. So in this case, how do we get to 45? First record in the table, like the last record, meets both of the two criteria. So the first one has a TIV 2015 value, which appears multiple times in the table. And the last one also. For this PID3, their TIV 2015 value is also 10, but they have the same latitude and longitude as PID2. So they don't fulfill the second condition. So we're left with row one and four. And yeah, we should sum up the TIV 2016 value, which would be five plus 40, which gives us 45. Yeah, we should also round to two decimal places. So yeah, we can do that. Depending on the input here, it doesn't matter. I'm not sure why we have to round it's not an, since it's not an average. But yeah, we can do exactly what we just did by coding up these conditions. So let's get into our solution. So we want to select the sum of TIV 2016, right? We just want to sum up that column based on this condition. So we're selecting this sum from, let's take called insurance. Let's make sure we actually round to do that, to do two, two decimal places while we're at it, so we don't forget. So we'll say round sum TIV 2016 two. Call that output TIV 2016 again. The round function, the sum function will kind of change the name of the output column. So we have to spell out the same name again. And yeah, that should give us the sum, the round sum of everything. Now we need to code up the conditions. So the conditions are based, the first one is based on TIV 2015 appearing multiple times. So let's say where TIV 2015. Now we need to think about how to code that up. So value, value should appear multiple times. I think what we can do here is to count how many times the TIV value shows up and then filter to those that show up once or more. So we can use a group by, then a count to get the amount of times this value appears, and then use having to filter to the amount of times it appears. So we'll basically create a subquery that only contains TIV 2015 values that appear multiple times. I'll just code that up because yeah, I've been talking about it a lot, but this should do the trick. So 
I want to say our TIV 2015 should be in this subquery I'm creating now. So I'll actually place a comment here saying TIV 2015 values that appear multiple times. Yeah, or are not unique, however you want to call it. So let's do select TIV 2015. I'm doing what I just told you about in terms of counting up how many times they appear and then doing a having filter to yeah make sure I only include those that appear multiple times. So select TIV 2015, then I could have a count star or count one. So just count the amount of rows from insurance, same table. And then I'd have to group by TIV 2015 and say use having to say that that count should be greater than or equal to one. Let's see, same TIV 2015 value as one or more other posios. One or more means greater or equal than one. Yeah, so that would do the trick. I don't need the count in the output, but I can still include it in the having clause if I make sure to group by TIV in 2015. Without that, I would be just counting the total amount of values in the table and not count this per or for each TIV 2015 value. I think maybe, yeah, maybe I can just run this subquery to see what it gives you. This one just gives us the TIV values that appear multiple times. So in this case, 10 and 20 appear, appear at least once. I just caught a mistake here. So we actually want to make sure it appears more than once because it says for one or more other policyholders. Yeah, it should have the same value as one or more others. So the first appearance would be the policyholder itself that we're comparing with other things. And then one or more others should have the same name. So the total appearances should be greater than one because we're already having one that we're using to compare other stuff to if you're following. So yeah, this filter actually becomes greater than one. And now we should only have 10 in the output because 10 appears more than once. Or yeah, just if we take this first row, then one or more other rows have it. In this case, two other rows are there. Yeah, so this gives us 10, gives us what we want. We can put our previous code back in here. And now, yeah, we can filter TIV 2015 to be in that list of TIV 2015 values that appear multiple times. So yeah, I actually wrote the comment correctly here in terms of appearing multiple times, one or more others having the same value. So yeah, if I run this whole statement, then I should get the sum of policyholders that fulfill the first condition of the first bullet point here. And yeah, the sum would be 45. So the other condition sort of reduces the amount of eligible policyholders a bit. It removes this third row, which has the same latitude and longitude as the second row, and therefore it gets disqualified. So we're going to try to do the same thing here. Same sort of where filter setup. So TIV 2015 should be in that list. And it should also be in this other list for also fulfill this other condition, which I will write out, write out now. So actually I can just copy this instruction here. Maybe do the same here. Yeah, so not located in the same city as any other policy holders. So we can actually say we can filter on multiple columns at once. So we can say 
this lat long pair, latitude longitude pair should be in this list that I will set up now as another sub query. So yeah, I will select latitude and longitude as well from insurance. And now what do we want to check here actually? Not located in the same city as any other policy holder. So this time we want to make sure their latitude longitude combination only shows up one time in the entire table. So there are no other policy holders which have the same location. So we'll do the same group by this time actually by latitude and longitude because that pair needs to be unique and yeah we'll say having count star should equal one why should it equal one here we want to make sure this latitude longitude combination only appears once in the entire table so it's not like there should be no other uh, there should be not like there should be one or more other there should be no other policy holder that has the same information so there should only be one record which would be the policy holder we're actually looking at and that should do the trick so that should long to should be in here i think you could also construct it as not in not in the list of those that appear multiple times so yeah same same thing different methodology could also do that for the first condition but that would just make it more complicated than it needs to be we're just implementing exactly what the conditions tell us we are selecting tv 2016 we're rounding that we have the expected output format so i think i'll just submit that straight away just betting on that syntax being correct here not making any mistakes and yeah hopefully it's accepted Apparently, yeah, I forgot the in keyword here and let lot in. So did have some more syntax issue here actually, but this should do the trick and round up that solution. It's gonna be it for this video. If you want to check out the rest of SQL 50, I have a place for that. And you can check out more medium or hard questions for lead code as well. And yeah, just make sure to subscribe to see more videos. I will do more general videos in the future as well, not just coding walkthroughs. So if you're looking for a career advice on getting started in data science, data analytics, data engineering, anything data related, keep it here and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.